was Mary Patricia Rathstone. Well, they wanted a boy first, and it was going to be Butch, so I guess Pat was the next best thing. Patty. Patty. I was born in Easton, Pennsylvania on August 31st, 1940. Ben. I don't remember that at all. Yeah. In fact, most of my life we lived in trailers. It's just cheaper. Okay. I think I was around three or four and I was playing with my brother who was a year younger than me. And we were playing under the trailers and you could see through the between the trailer bottom and the ground, they had lattice work around the trailer. And we were under there looking out, and my mom and my grandpa were hunting for us. Because I guess we weren't, we were out and about, and we shouldn't have been at that age. But that's my first uh, memory. A butch, tag, uh, racing games. Um, marbles, jacks. I know we did, I don't remember any, but I know we did and we got maybe a, a quarter for for allowance. The chores were very easy, you know, like sweeping the floor or, you know, nothing nothing drastic. Um, I was probably a spender when I was young, you know, like below 10, but then after that I started to save money for things that I wanted. Uh, school was good. I liked school. I was a good student. I was a good student until I got into high school. <laughs> and then uh, things just got more difficult because the subjects were more difficult and I wasn't paying attention. I didn't go to college. Not at the time, no, because I was fed up with school. But I, later on, when I had a couple of kids, I, I wanted to go. I liked math, English, uh, science, geography. And the ones I didn't like were, were grammar English, you know, where you learn periods and commas and things like that. Yeah, I like to read, but uh, that's the literature kind of English, not the, the way to write. Uh, we didn't have orchestra and band in my schools. Uh, sports, yes. Uh, I loved any kind of running, running, running games. I was always faster than the boys because I was taller than the boys at that age. <laughs> uh, we didn't have any uh, regular sports. We had baseball and, again, running and stuff like that. But we didn't have anything for the girls. Men, mainly the guys had sports, like had football and baseball, but the girls didn't. Clothes, I remember in high school, we had, they had the big poodle skirts and uh, cashmere sweaters and um, ducktail haircuts, which I had. and. Uh, Oh gosh, I'm sure there's a lot of things I just don't remember. I can't remember anybody that really impressed me, <laughs> you know, that, that I could say, yeah, that's my hero. Mm -hmm. um, I have them now, but I don't have yeah, any. I didn't have them then. Oh, Mitch is a hero to me. Uh, Dick. Oh gosh, I have to get my list out. Um, one of my favorite songs is Send in the Clowns. I love Old Time Rock and Roll by Bob Seger. Um, I like any kind of music, except maybe the music of today. It just makes me happy and um, I can immediately know it's going to start because of the downbeat. You just and I crank up the radio or whatever when I'm driving or when I'm at home just to hear that downbeat. We had a cocker spaniel named Toto. We had two birds, uh, turd and sard, <laughs> parakeets. We had a cat named Eyes. Uh, that was it. And, oh no, we had, there was also a, another dog named Buffer that my uncle had sent from Korea. And, uh, but he didn't last too many years. In fact, he died of a disease called Korea. <laughs> yes, um, a lot of times for the church, 
uh, activities. They'd have me and my brothers in the picture because we, my mom was very active in the church. So I was in the paper then. When I was Santa Claus's helper, I was in the paper then. When the reindeer got caught by the side of our house, we were in the paper then. Yeah, reindeer. Where was up that? at the Santa Claus thing, got out and happened to end up at my house. It was very unusual. Uh, Catholic Church. Well, there was a lot of them, depending where we were living. Mm -hmm. The last one was St. Genevieve's. That's where I got married. Oh, like I said, we were Catholic, and we went to church, and Mom was very active in the church and got us active in the church. Um, it was a lot of fun. I was the May Queen one year. I was the Virgin Mary on a float for the um, Chamber of Commerce, I think it was, and things like that. Uh, growing up, uh, we, uh, like I said, we lived in the trailer for till I was ten. Then we then we got a house, and I'll just I don't remember living in the trailer because it was very very small. I mean I can't remember ha dinners. I can remember dinners when we got into the house. Uh, we ate in the kitchen, very small kitchen, but there was a table and chairs. And mom was a good cook, and we ate every bit of the food because we didn't have that much. We were pretty poor. Um, nothing fancy ever. Uh, just good, wholesome food. Yeah. Well, when the kids were growing up, we would eat before five, uh, we would eat at five o'clock. That was it. And uh, at the table, Dick was usually not home until about oh seven sometimes. So we would eat before him because the kids couldn't wait that long to eat. Oh yeah, and they you know you have to eat what I give you. Well, I didn't give him too many choices because that runs into too many problems. You know, this one wants one thing and that one wants one. It's just too, it's too awkward. So you're going to eat what I make. <laughs> yeah, like I said, she was a good cook. Um, she made um, um, stuffed pork chops, which were great. Great pies, great cakes. Um, she, oh, her spaghetti was out of this world. She'd make it She'd make the sauce and it would just simmer all day on the stove and the smell was great and had big, big uh, meatballs in it. That was one of my, I would say, my favorites was the spaghetti. I have a lot of mom's recipes, but I think I gave them to your mother because uh, I don't cook anymore. Um, but my grandma was a gr great cook too. And so I have her molasses pie recipe, which is one of my favorites when I was a kid. I haven't gotten it right yet, but I... <laughs> <laughs> Try. Uh, my grandma's my grandma's ch fried chicken was out of this world. My dad's mother used to live in an apartment, and we would visit her. And when we would visit her, I can remember she had a little, uh, tiny little bureau made of cardboard with wallpaper on it, and on the bureau was a lamp with the crystals hanging down. And it would tinkle as you walked along the floor. You didn't even have to be.